Hey, today we're looking at a few modules from Audiophile Circuits League. They sent these over for a review. Thank you to ACL. So we've got the variable sync VCO, envelope times three, multi two, dual state variable filter, and audio interface. So when you put Audiophile in your name, you've really got to put your money where your mouth is, and they hold up. These are really high quality modules. I got the chance to hang out with Martin from ACL a few months ago in Berlin, and I could just feel his passion for synthesis, which is like on another another level. And that comes through with what they put into their modules. So like, let's go over some features here on the variable sync VCO. This is just a monster of a VCO. You've got five simultaneous waveform outputs, two inputs for exponential FM with attenuators, one input for linear FM with an attenuator, sync and sync CV, pulse width modulation and pulse width modulation CV, a switch to quickly go between low, mid and high frequencies. And then I really love this tuning knob because it's got a lock on it. So you can't move it when that lock is engaged. And when it's not, you've got this nice number readout. You can keep track of exactly where you've set it. Let's listen to the pulse waveform. Get that nice PWM. And I'm gonna throw it a sequence from Eloquencer. So that's triggering an envelope, uh, controlling the filter cutoff here. Each envelope output has a short and a long switch. And because this is a dual envelope, um, you can operate it in parallel or serial. I have it in serial right now, so I can use both sides to shape the sound. Like we can blend this from a low pass to a notch to a high pass. but then still low pass it over here. And then there's also a master cutoff knob that controls both sides at once. Let's have some more fun with uh, the VCO. So I'll take the sign output so you can hear this best. I've got the same sequence going through the uh, buffered multiple to this uh, ALM Busy Circuits MCO just for uh, demonstrating the sync here. Let me also show you some uh, FM fun. So let's take another envelope, stick it into the exponential FM. Nice attack on our synth sound. And you may have noticed I'm only sending one trigger from Eloquencer to the envelope module and uh, that first envelope is normalized to channels two and three, which is where I'm taking these envelopes out to the filter and to the uh, exponential FM. And of course, everything you're hearing is going straight out of the audio interface to uh, my headphones here and through this XLR to my audio recorder. No post-processing. So that's the quick overview. I think they sound fantastic. I think they look fantastic. The build quality is really, really good. I wanna highlight a few more features that I haven't mentioned yet and then also go over a couple of cons that there are. There aren't many, but there are some. On the envelope, uh, one thing I didn't mention that I really like is that there is inverted copies of every envelope. That's really nice and handy. Uh, same with on the buffered multiple. So you've got a non-buffered side and a buffered side. There's also an inverted out for whatever you put in. So that's cool. The filter is so fully featured. I really like having the master cutoff knob for both sides. There is an attenuverter for the resonance CV input and for the cutoff CV input on both sides. There's also a volt per octave input for the cutoff. So if you get it into self resonance, you can control it with proper pitch information. Then you've got simultaneous outputs for low pass, notch, high pass, and band pass on both sides. And um, this control that says LPHP uh, sweeps the notch output between a low pass to a notch in the middle and then to a high pass. When you're working in serial mode, that also affects the signal going from A 
to be. The audio interface is super handy. Uh, there's an aux input here, which you can route just to the output or to the inputs. So you can send it to the rest of your modular system or you can just mute it there and it's got a volume control. Similarly with the headphones, you've got an input mute output switch here. So you can choose what you're monitoring, whether it's what's coming out of the main what's going into the ins, or just mute them. And then this is built for the stage. You've got these XLR line in and out. Um, but, but that does bring us to our first con, which is that I would love for there to have been a microphone input on here so that you could like send something from a mic into the rest of your system for processing. The one other con with the audio interface is sending stuff to the output, I would love for this channel to be normalized to this channel because, uh, you know, modular, a lot of stuff happens in mono. And uh, I don't know if you saw earlier, but I had a stackable cable coming out of the filter so that I could send the same signal to both sides. Otherwise, my headphones would only be getting a mono signal in one ear. Second con is the sync here, and it's kind of a pro and a con. So you can set the threshold for when the oscillator is gonna sync to whatever you're sending it here, and they've set a huge range for this threshold and I kind of get where they're coming from because they're like just major synthesis nerds. They want to give you every possibility. But what I found in practice was that there's a really small sweet spot that you have to find depending on what signal you're sending it for sync. So dialing that in can be a bit finicky, even though having such a wide range does give you the most sync possibilities. And the one final con that I'll mention, which is kind of a small thing, you get used to it, but the layouts of the modules are just a bit weird to me. You've got the uh, exponential FM inputs here with these smaller knobs for attenuating, but then the sync is down here with the controls up here. The linear FM is down here with the attenuator up here. So it's just kind of not how I would organize it. With the envelope, you know, the controls are going across in rows, but then the outputs are here in columns. And on the VCF, the two channels are mirrored. You've got like cutoff in the middle, resonance on the outside. Same with most of these other elements. But then the CV ins are just left to right for both of them. I don't know, kinda gotta remember that when you're working with it. All in all though, having an amazing time working with these modules, I think they sound fantastic. The build quality is some of the best I have ever seen in Eurorack, like really solid panels. The knobs are fantastic. The VCO is super stable. The envelopes go from super snappy to really long. The filter is juicy. I hate the word juicy, but I describe every nice juicy filter as juicy. Overall, everything does what it says on the tin and excels at it. So you'll definitely be hearing these in my work and seeing them in future videos. I hope this review was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back soon with another video.